Your Bonnerig Rose line up this evening is number 25 Mikey Andrews, number 3 Neil Martinuk, number 4 Kerr Young, number 7 Kieran Mitchell, number 10 Lee Curry, number 11 Ross Gray, number 15 Josh Trigger, number 16 Kevin Smith, number 17 Connor Doan, number 19 Scott Gray and number 21 Bradley Barrett. Good defensive work from Mitchell. What an effort that is, what a goal that is! An absolute screamer from Josh Walker. And he's once again haunting Bonnie Ray Girls. Swing back Bradley Barrett with the throw. Falls eventually to Ross Gray inside the area. Falls to Kieran Mitchell. Good deflection there, good block and into the arms of Scullion within relative ease. There's just a wall of Stranra players in the box. Not a lot Kieran Mitchell could do, he just has to try and hammer it, get something off. Absolutely, a lot of pressure there from Stranra, but like we keep saying, body's still back as well, so they have an extra man on the pitch at the moment. But I tell you what, Kieran Mitchell's got away from his two men there. Good quick throw that falls to Bradley Barrett on his weak foot, can't get the ball away, Ross Gray does! And that is a leveller for Bonnie Rig Rose after 26 minutes. A much needed one. Fantastic quick throw down the side where Kieran Mitchell gets away from his man. It's a fairly good stop from Scullion. He does well again to parry the ball away and Bradley Barrett. The shot perhaps going wide but the goalkeeper didn't know anything about that. But Ross Gray composes himself and after putting one wide and over just a short while back is able to compose himself and lash it into the back of the net. To dispossess on the rose back here with the ball now. Connor Doan. Back out wide, Barrett in a lot of space this time, no Macintosh to stop him. It's all the way in there, it's a goal! 2-1, Bonnie Rig Rose! Barrett's cross in eventually falls to Kieran Mitchell as he grabs his second goal for the club since joining on loan in the summer. That's 2-1, Bonnie Rig Rose after 35 minutes played in that eight game winless run that might be coming to an end. Goal for Bonnie Rig Rose, the scorer, Kieran Mitchell. Corner whipped in here for Rose. Headed off the line, Kerr Young getting a touch on it. The man on the post also doing so. Blocked there. Kerr Young just can't get to another block. Kerr Young's ever again. Absolute chaos in the Stram Rar. Penalty area there. So many deflections, a penalty shout. Kerr Young having about four stabs at the ball but there's no goal no, at yeah. the end of it for the hosts. Off the post there, Stramrar claiming goal. Not given, Mikey Andrews able to keep a hold of the ball. Stramrar players cannot believe it. Rose fans lapping it up. A little bit of a skirmish at the back post there, seemed like it maybe hit off the post. Perhaps it was a Mikey Andrews saves, it's hard to tell from this angle. Good turn inside there, a great effort, a good save from Mikey Andrews. A really strong shot there from James Hill in the substitute. He's been informed the midfielder this season. He's so nearly snagged another goal. Kieran Mitchell now breaking up this side, but he is offside. One ball over the top here, Robertson. Great cut back. Good touch from McIntosh. Grigger doing just enough. Ball still there. Malcolm gets the shot away. But Andrews is down to it and collects it well. Real strumash in the box there, but Bonnie Rig Rose holding tight in defence to keep that one goal advantage. Kieran Mitchell gets the header, it's a penalty kick. Scullion absolutely crashing into the forward there. Mitchell down, looks serious. Rose fans, Rose players, sorry, calling for immediate medical attention. We will now see Martin Yuk step up to the spot here. Can he continue his penalty magic? Yes, he can. O'Connor goes the right way, but Neil Martinuk once again slams home from 12 yards. 
A fantastic penalty and the Rose now lead 3-1 here at New Dundas Park. That eight game winless run and that frustrating four game drawing streak is looking to come to an end here. Ball whipped in, header goal! An instant reaction from Stramrar, this game is not done yet. Five minutes to go, it is a really strong header at the front post. Questions have got to be asked about the mark and I think Mikey Andrews is asking them now. It's Luke Watt that has got that crucial goal. Sean McIntosh standing over this one. Lovely deep Floyd ball into the area. It's a good header on, but Mikey Andrews there. Safe pair of hands to keep that one out. The score with stoppage time looming is still 3-2 to the Rose. Andrews to send it forward. Referee's got a whistle on his mouth and that's full time. And you can hear the noise from the over 600 fans in NDP this evening. An absolute standing game full of as much controversy and excitement as you can imagine. It ends 3-2 to Bonnie Red Rose and that eight game winless streak is over. A long time coming, three points off the foot of the table. Just tell me what you thought of that game today. Uh, yeah, massive three points for us, there's no doubt about that. Um, I thought in the previous games that we maybe deserved to take three points at them, and it's just never worked that out that way. But that's us unbeaten in five now, um, obviously, four draws um, before tonight's game. So, but I you know, looked at going back and thought, you know, this is an opportunity for us to, to get three points. and. You know, next home game again, again you're looking at it that way and if you can just get a wee run of games together when you're picking up victories and it catapults you up the league. So, um, delayed, absolutely delayed for the players because it's been a really difficult week to be honest. Um, last week obviously we were getting down to Anna and the game's called off, um, wasn't was no great. Um, and then you know, Christmas night's out for, for the players and the coaching staff and uh, you come to training on Tuesday and just about half the squad are choked with the cold or got the flu. So. Um, obviously missing a few bodies tonight and there's a few players in that park that uh, probably should have been in their beds rather than playing football so um, we never obviously we had to cancel training last night as well um, just to stop it kind of, kind of getting any worse the situation but I've got to give massive credit to the players um, for the efforts they put in I thought in the first half I thought we were on top um, and then second half we had to ride a luck at times there's no getting away from that um, we tired a wee bit and I can understand why we tired um, but they put so much into it. And when we got that third goal, um, and you're thinking three one, hopefully we can see the game, you know, comfortably and without any kind of sweats or anything like that. But uh, we lost the goal so quickly uh, after after scoring that third goal that it put us under pressure a bit. Um, to a man, they dug in um, and you know just over the moon for them, over the moon for them, and, and and for the supporters as well because. Yeah, I've mentioned so many times now before that they've really got behind the players in the last five, six games and it's made a huge difference. I think people realise that we're you know it's a difficult league and you're playing against um, you know, better teams or well organised or fit. Um, and you know, it's a hard, hard league and um, and just delighted that they have we're giving them a wee bit of joy for Christmas as well, going home and celebrating three points. Cheers, Alright, Merry Christmas to all the Bonnie Rhodes, Bernard Gross supporters and all the players and all the families as well. Cheers, Thank Robert. you guys, cheers.